Here we've got two separate logarithms, although they are with the same base. So if we add this one to the other side, we can apply the product rule. to get them into a single logarithm. The x plus three and the x minus one will be multiplied together inside of a single logarithm with base two. I'm going to multiply this out in a moment, but first of all, now that we have a single logarithm and it's isolated from anything else, we can apply the definition that the answer to a logarithm is an exponent with this base of two. So multiplying it out on the left-hand side, x squared plus three x minus x minus three, and when you combine those two middle terms, a two X, to the fifth is 32, subtract 32 from both sides, factor, so one X squared, and two numbers with a product of negative 35 and a sum of positive two would be a positive seven and a negative five. So the factors are X plus seven and X minus five. That gives us two possible solutions, X equals negative seven or X equals five after having set each factor equal to zero. But when we go back to the original equation, negative seven plus three is negative four. And the domain of logarithms is positive numbers only. It's not that that's a negative seven, it's that when I put that in and add three, I still have a negative. So that's why I'm going to have to reject X equals seven. X equals five is going to make that eight. And this four, this doesn't guarantee that this is still going to work, but what exponent of two would give us eight? That would be three. What exponent of two would give us four? That would be two. And we would get three is equal to three. That checks out. So we keep that answer of x equals five. 